What's up guys, this is TechnoCube and you are watching Basics of c -Sharp. Well, in this session, we're gonna introduce you something called as cascading combo box. Well, what do you mean by cascading? It's something like when your combo box is dependent on other combo box. So I have, let's say, country combo box and another one is state combo box. So when you select USA as your country, then based on that country USA, all state of that country is going to be fetched from the database and loaded inside the state combo box. And very similar functionality is related with state and city. So whenever you select a state, based on that state, uh, the city is going to be loaded. All cities is going to be loaded inside a city combo box. That is a cascading combo box. So let's get started in the Visual Studio. So I already have the design of that. So you having one country combo box and you are having one state combo box. Well, I also have the database. And if you don't know how to create database, then I recommend you to please go through the previous videos where I had created the database and how to map that database with the controls. Uh, you should refer that. Okay. So I have this database here. I have two table inside my database. One is a TBL country. You can see uh, what kind of column I have. One is country ID with integer data type and I have country name as a where care, my, as a where care data type. Okay, then I have TBL state, my another data table uh, that is having state ID and then I have a relationship between these two uh, table uh, with the help of country ID. So country ID is going to be a foreign key here and then I have state name. Okay, so I also have some dummy data over here. So you can see show table data. I have two countries, India and Pakistan and based on that, you know, country I have uh, uh, fitted some uh, state inside this TBL state data uh, data table. So you remember the country ID one and two here. And when I select TBL state, you can see here. I right click on that and show table data. So now I have state IDs one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six states, but it depends on the country ID. So three states are from India because one, one, one. It's the ID of country India, and two, two, two is the is the is the ID of the country. The country is 222 is Pakistan and these are the states. So now uh, let's close all these uh, database things and let's get into the code part. Right click on that and view code. So the first thing that you need to uh, you know remember that is uh, our namespace. So you import your namespace that is using system.data.sql client. I also had created the uh, SQL connection, uh, a global SQL connection. I'd go to this database and right click on that and go to properties and copy the connection string from here and then paste it inside this SQL connection. I also had taken one uh, variable that is country ID. Uh, so this uh, will work whenever you change your index from uh, one to uh, something like India to Pakistan or like that. Okay. So let's start the coding part. So the first thing uh, we need to map our first combo box that is country combo box. So that's why I will take one method for that. So that method name is refresh country. If you have any problem, you can comment me. I can resolve that. Oh, so I'll create this method and I'll remove this part. This is an exception. Okay. And inside this, I will write the first thing is I'm going to write uh, con dot open. I'll open the connection and then I will write a SQL command cmd equals to new SQL command and I'll write the query as select star from tbl underscore underscore country okay that's the simple thing you can do with your command right now then the next thing is a sql data adapter sql data adapter sda equals to new sql data adapter and then you'll pass the command object here next thing is data table dt equals to new data table next thing is you're gonna fill that data table SDA dot fill and then DT. Next thing is you close that connection con dot close. Okay. Next thing is you need to map your combo box one, right? So for that we have combo box one dot display member equals to display member. So I'll pass here country name. And the next thing is combo box one dot value member. And this is going to be country and country ID right 
Next thing is I need to bind that combo box. So I'll say data source equals to DT. We already had seen this. Okay, so this is your uh, country combo box and let's see this is working or not. So you see here India and Pakistan has been loaded from the or it is being fetched from the database and it is showing you can see it in the combo box country. Now are we gonna see how to you know how to how to make this uh, live that whenever you select India the India states all those Indian states are going to be loaded inside the state com box and whenever you select Pakistan the Pakistan state is going to be loaded inside the state com box. So you see I need something to do that right. So whenever you change this index I need to change this state index too right. So this is the functionality that we need to provide over here. So that for that reason I need uh, one event and that event name is index change event. So whenever you you are changing the index I need to you know uh, I need to change this index too right. So that's why I need one uh, I, I need one event on this combo box that is your combo box one I need to I need to create one event and that event name is select index change and why do we need it because we are changing the index and based on based on that index I need to change my states right. So when I say ind India the Indian states are going to be loaded inside that When I say Pakistan Pakistan states is going to be loaded inside the state combo box right. So let's uh, create that event. I go to form one dot cs and then in the property window I have this icon this this lightning symbol and inside that I have this uh, event select index change I double click on that it will generate the event and I will write here that if my combo box one dot selected selected value selected value dot two string and if it is not equals to null then I have the variable as I told you I have one variable that is integer country ID you had globally declared that country ID equals to combo box one dot selected selected value dot two string if it is not then please select the value right and uh, two string now the problem is this is string and this is integer right so it is integer country ID so I need to convert it so that's why I'll take convert to int32 okay now next thing is uh, I need to call one event and that event is uh, refresh state uh, so it's, a, it's the same thing here we have a refresh country to map our to bind our combo box one the same thing we need for you know state combo box so that's why I'll take refresh refresh state and inside that I will say country ID so I'll generate this method here generate method for me I remove this exception from here and the same thing uh, we need for this refresh state. So what we're going to do we will copy this code copy this code and we will change the necessary thing inside this. So the first necessary thing is combo box 2 combo box 2 uh, combo box 2 and this is combo box 2 and instead of country name I will say state name and instead of id I will provide state id okay. Next thing is select star from TBL country it is TBL uh, underscore state and I also say where where country I'm um, sorry where country ID equals to at the rate country ID okay that's the thing I also uh, have to provide this cmd dot parameters dot add with value uh, so it will uh, you know uh, it will uh, provide that variable inside the database so this is my so I need a parameter name and that parameter name is country ID and then the the oh, the value of that so it is nothing but uh, country ID okay so now I think that this is completely okay and so when we run this application it should work let's say okay I run this Okay, so you can see when I so this is the form is uh, is is loaded here, and when I say India, all states of India is going to be loaded over here. See Gujarat, Punjab, and Karnataka. When I say Pakistan, all state of Pakistan is going to be loaded inside that. So the same functionality you, you do for city. You have city combo box. You just need one select index change for the combo box two. 
where you will write the same code uh, i mean a, a little bit you know minor changes you have to do instead of uh, instead of combo box 1 it will be combo box 2 and here also combo box 2 and you need to generate one event and event name is refresh city and you provide the state id over here right and the same thing uh, you need to you know copy and paste the same thing inside the refresh city uh, method then uh, that uh, that combo box is going to be also you know working as same as country and state are working i hope you are getting the things and this is the thing that we you know following here uh, okay so thank you so much for listening to me and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it thank you so much for listening to me